Hello again, everyone. Mark Hackle, Macomb County Executive. This time I have a special guest from our senior department. Actually, uh, Sheila Cote runs the senior department here in Macomb County. And throughout this COVID crisis, I've uh, been very connected with our seniors. Interesting, a lot of seniors really are adept and they really know, you know, kind of how to take care of themselves. Uh, but we do have a few here in the county that are, you know, kind of need a little bit of support and assistance. And that's what the senior centers and senior departments and organizations around the county do. We try to figure out how do we help them. And, uh, you know, obviously a coordinating body here in Macomb County mm -hmm. happens to be our senior department and work extremely well with those senior organizations that are concerned specifically with this COVID crisis we've got going on. So, Sheila, thank you for being here and kind oh, of- Oh, uh, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Appreciate give it a little it. insight what we've got going here. And yeah. you've come up with some pretty creative things uh, at mm -hmm. the onset, but what have you seen? I mean, from the onset of this, you know, mm -hmm. March 13th, last year was our first case. Right. People really weren't sure what was going on. And right. then all of a sudden it kind of hit and people started getting more concerned. Right. PPE was a big thing, but you know, the mm -hmm. outreach to the community uh, right. was significant here. Right, what, what, so one what of the it? first things we did, Mark, is we reached out to our seniors and uh, right. called their home, asked them how they were doing, asked them if they needed anything. And one of the, two of the things that they mentioned the most was PPE, um, you know, essential items like soap, hand sanitizer, paper towel. And toilet paper. And toilet paper <laughs> was, was like a big, a big one. Thing. Um, so what we did is uh, we worked with our planning department and developed a care package program. We ended up um, uh, distributing about 4,200 care packages wow. to our seniors. It took them right to their homes. You took them right to their homes. Um, we also had a distribution day where the seniors came and picked up the, the packages. We had a line um, all the way through Mount Clements. Um, it was a big turnout, so we were able to help the seniors that way. And I know Meals on Wheels is still going, and uh, you know, trying to find That's the drivers right. was kind of a challenge because a lot of those drivers were seniors. And uh, there was a concern about them being out and about with the right. stay-at-home orders and right. uh, you know the concerns some of them had. So we had to pick up employees from within the county that were willing to go ahead and right. pick up some of those routes. That was a right. big challenge, but all throughout this, you were still able to manage getting those Meals and Wheels to those that were, I guess, in need of those, uh, those type of meals in the program. Yep. I am so proud to say that we did not miss one meal throughout the pandemic. Um, we did not miss one delivery. And again, thanks to all our county departments because they all pitched in. They were willing to drive. They were willing to get out there and deliver for us. And um, uh, to this day, we're still delivering every day. And it's so, throughout the entire county. There's no specific you know, area that yeah. we're designated to or just kind of take care of. We do it throughout the entire county. And correct. a lot of the partnerships with our community centers and mm -hmm. I guess, if you will, senior centers around the county, right. uh, they've been fantastic throughout this as well in mm -hmm. trying to work with us. And yep. we've noticed that. Yes, yeah, our community partners have been great. We're now starting to reopen again and bring our volunteers back. So some of the sites are at our senior centers and, and we're distributing meals from from those centers and and we uh, know a lot of people are concerned about this and getting out mm -hmm. and about they are worried you know they don't want to catch this virus we know it's a concern for many people but seniors were a little bit apprehensive to go out and do even simple things like going to the grocery store for grocery Correct. but mm -hmm. we're seeing the new new wave nowadays it's like you know things being kind of delivered to your home with Amazon and uh, you know even some of these other companies have kind of figured out how to get an online presence and uh, deliver their products you know through through the mail or having it delivered by UPS or some other way mm -hmm. uh, you came up with something creative uh, that yeah. I think well, we were the first municipality, not only in the state, but in the country right. that joined with the program, and that was that SHIP program. SHIP program, yep. We ended up um, distributing about 5,200 free memberships to our seniors in Macomb. Uh, they are now getting groceries delivered to the door. They don't have to take the risk of going to the grocery store. Uh, you know, they're safe. Um, they're pleased with the, the service and it's going very well. And the delivery yep. is free because it's part of the, the membership. Free. They may tip somebody if they come to the right. door. You know, right. there's no expectation for it, but sometimes yeah. they do. Uh, yeah. But again, you know, people can, you, you can actually do that for maybe a senior that, uh, that you know, maybe a, a parent, mm -hmm. uh, a neighbor. Uh, you know, the program that we have here is just, uh, is one that we were able to find the money for our CARES funds to go ahead and offset that cost for the right. memberships. But people don't realize that you can actually buy the membership for someone in your own household. Hold. And mm -hmm. I think it's like $99 yeah. a year. Yeah, it's about $100 a, a year. year. Yeah, right. So Correct. I mean, so yeah. look at that ship program. And again, there's a lot of participating, if you will, grocers that are part mm -hmm. of that. Um, is Myers on Myers is yeah. one of the big, um, you know, uh, providers. Um, Target, I believe, is also a provider. Um, some pet stores are providers. Some uh, pharmacies. I think CVS is a provider. So it it really does give seniors an opportunity to stay safe 
not take the risk of leaving the home, even a fall risk um, during the winter time. You know, having to leave their home and, and try and bring groceries in is, is really, could be very detrimental to our seniors. So yeah. it, it's a win-win. Yeah, and yeah. you've worked close with other organizations, our Macomb Community Action Support Organization, trying to figure out how do we help with even transportation and such. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, you know, one of the bigger things right now is working closely with the health department, yes. uh, which you are doing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we know recently the concerns about the very limited amount of doses and the opening it up, not just to seniors, 75 and older, but also those that are 65 and older with an underlying health issue. Right. Uh, but also now they're competing with other opportunities for people to kind of uh, get vaccinated. And it's mm -hmm. our uh, police, fire, uh, the teachers, uh, and, uh, and other organizations, municipal right. workers, it was a huge challenge. And I say that because now it really created a credible demand uh, for the product, uh, for, you know, whether it's the Pfizer or Moderna that we get here, and uh, having incredibly limited doses. So right. about 152,000 seniors, 65 and older here in Correct. McComb County? Is yes. that right? Yes, okay. that's right. And yeah, our concern is just the vulnerability of the, that population. And what is happening is they're sort of getting pushed to the back of the line in terms of getting their vaccination. It's more difficult for them to get transportation, to get their vaccination. Um, they don't have the technology to register online necessarily. So they're trying to call and, and, and get an appointment. So we, we really are advocating um, to, to help those seniors get their vaccinations um, in a way that is um, easily accessible for them. And we've been talking about that. And so, mm -hmm. you know, obviously yeah. calling online is a is a very hectic process, especially for a senior that maybe uh, has a bit of a challenge with that or even the online version that Sheila just got through mentioning. Mm -hmm. Some of them may not even have access or how to use it. So we've worked with our health department and come to realize, you know, what, we got to figure out how do we provide some strategic way of dealing with our seniors uh, and maybe targeting uh, with our actual uh, vaccines that we get. So we get 7,000 was the last allotment. We can do over 50,000 here in Macomb County just from our health department alone. So our potential is limited by the doses. So if they got 50,000, we can get that out in a week. If they're giving us 7,000, obviously we can get that out in a day. I mean, probably even less than that. Uh, but what the reality is, it means there's more people competing for the incredibly low number of doses. We're going to continue to work through that. We don't think there's going to be a change of direction on behalf of the state to say, you know what, let's back it up, seniors only. Uh, I think you're going to probably see more people being allowed into this, uh, if you will, funnel, uh, mm -hmm. which is going to create more of a problem. Right. So we are working with Sheila and our emergency management uh, with the health department and even the locals to come up with a way of doing it uh, even though it's going to be limited amounts in each community and working with our if you will organizations that mm -hmm. we partner with at yeah. the local level um, and to try to figure out okay could we do like a hundred maybe 200 seniors uh, a day in each one of these various communities around the county to make it more easily accessible right. but also to focus and target some of these doses specific for seniors because mm -hmm. as you mentioned I mean let's mm -hmm. face it nationally and even statewide the indications are the people that are most vulnerable, susceptible uh, to really at risk uh, with uh, getting this are the senior population. That's correct. And I, I feel strongly that we need to carve out a niche for them to be able to have accessibility to those vaccinations in a way that um, they're able to navigate. Right. So uh, I think that's critical. And you reached out to a lot of the senior organizations throughout the county. They sent mm -hmm. a lot of letters uh, kind they of did. requesting right. that the health department come up with some way of uh, right. maybe focusing and targeting uh, the senior population here. And so we heard that and uh, we're yep. going to respond to that by doing something specific. We're going to give that announcement out later as we kind of work through the logistics of uh, you know how we how we manage that. Uh, I think we got a good idea of what mm -hmm. we want to do in the communities working with our community partners. Uh, but there's always logistics of scheduling and making sure you have the proper people that know how to vaccinate. The location is a huge component because it's not just about the size of the facility. It's about making sure that after they get vaccinated, do they have a place to sit for 15 minutes afterwards? And uh, even even the drive-through version of possibility. So mm -hmm. a lot of logistics go into this. We're working through that right now, but we want to make sure that our, our senior organizations around the county know that we heard them and uh, we are mm -hmm. going to be doing something specific here in Macomb County uh, to reach out into the communities to help uh, support them. So yeah. a lot yeah. of, a lot I think of it's been a great team effort to, to pull something together for our seniors. Yeah, and yeah. It's, a, it's interesting. Some of them are yeah. calling me and telling me they've been down south, they've been in, uh, in, in, in Florida, and they were able to go into a Publix. And I got a couple of pictures of the right. one guy, he actually, him and his wife were in Publix, and they got the shot. They just walked in and got their shot. And I'm thinking, yeah. boy, if we can only get the number of doses here available right. and have that available for seniors, much like we do every flu season, yeah. you know, they can just go into a, you know, an urgent care, go to their doctor's office, right. go to one of these pharmacies and get that. Uh, you know, we, again, we will 
we will vaccinate every person that we have available uh, doses for, yeah. uh, but we just need more doses. So we're going to continue to work on that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I can't thank Sheila enough. Uh, she's been a very much an advocate for even those that can go ahead and apply online or by phone uh, to go ahead and get themselves vaccinated. Um, she would have been one of those advocates of saying you need to stop and think about it. You know, maybe if you have a relative, a neighbor or somebody, rather than calling up and trying to get that, uh, I guess, appointment for yourself, maybe think about a senior and see if maybe you can help them get an appointment, uh, kind of help our senior population here. And we're seeing people are actually doing that. You know, they don't have to. They're allowed to go ahead and get themselves vaccinated and get that appointment. But we're seeing a lot of people are starting to realize, you know what, uh, those seniors are being left behind. We need right. to find something for them. And a lot of them are taking that advice. Uh, yeah, that you're I know a lot of um, families are are registering their parents, their elderly parents, to get their vaccination and and holding off, uh, you know, uh, until their parents are vac vaccinated. So yeah, and I'm, I'm starting yeah. to hear more of that too. I guess I, I call it the Macomb County way. You know, yeah, kind of yeah. kind of stepping up for somebody else. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, again, there's going to be more information coming out about specifically how we're going to be doing that. Very limited doses, but in the various communities. And we're going to try to touch, you know, all 27 distinct municipalities that make up Macomb County uh, to try to work with those senior centers in those areas. And as we get more doses, we will increase uh, that outreach into those various community centers as well. So stay tuned. You're probably going to get a little bit more information on it as we you know, get more details about what we're going to do and how we're going to plan that. But in the meantime, on behalf of Sheila and all of us here in Macomb County and myself, we want to thank you for tuning in, but more importantly, we want to remind you to keep you and your family safe.